if we think about um, like when you jump and land in sand, mm -hmm. right? If you're jumping off a table and you're landing on sand, mm -hmm. you're going to stiffen your legs so you don't collapse down into the sand, mm -hmm. right? And if you if that were concrete, you're going to flex your ankles, your knees, and your hips. You're going to make yourself really spring like mm -hmm. because the surface is really stiff. So you're when anticipating you run, you're anticipating the hit. Yes. And, 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 and when you're thinking about gait, you want to try to minimize the oscillation of the, of the vertical oscillation of the center mass. So and we're so, trying to keep it as efficient as possible by exactly. standing. Yeah. And so if, if you're landing on a stiff surface, you've got to make your leg compliant. Yes. And if you land on a really soft surface, you have to make your, your, your leg stiff. That's such a great way of explaining it. One of the ways that I always talk about it in the clinic, um, Irene, is, is that if you go to pick up a suitcase and you think it's heavy, Yes. You like use all your muscles in anticipation of that. And that's exactly what you're saying with the landing on sand versus landing on hard concrete and, and, and how we anticipate. So what you're saying, if I say it in a different way, is that because people have this cushion available, they modify their mechanics knowing that the, the cushion is going to protect them. Whereas right. they, would, they would have to use their muscles if they didn't have that. Absolutely. And they, the cushion will protect them in the beginning. Yeah. But as that cushion dampens, sure. then they start to lose that protection. Absolutely. And that's why in runners, like after four to 500 miles, yeah. they have to replace their shoes because their knee starts to tweak. Right. Wow. Whereas if you do four to 500 miles in a pair of minimal shoes, yeah. you're, you're, you don't have any midsole. There's no midsole to be dampened. That's you right. have to train your leg to, to be able to attenuate those loads. So, so what you're, you're saying, right. there's, there's almost like a margin of error that those modern footwear gives you. And then as this, this foam starts to wear out, the biomechanics that you have in place no longer are applicable to the new model. That's right. So you're, right. You're, you're training the leg to be kind of stiff, yeah. right? Because it's soft cushion. And then, yeah. and then as it becomes less and less protective, you've got a stiff landing and then you end up having problems. And then the other problem that we have, let's think about running. Like when you run in a pair of shoes that have cushioning, mm -hmm. you tend to heel strike. Okay. And this goes back to our evolutionary history. And I would need a whole day to talk to you about all of the different features of our body that really indicate that we were really meant to land on the ball of our foot when we run, not sure. when we walk, but when we run. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. And so, you know, when you put a cushion on somebody's heel in, in a shoe, there's a, there's a, a, it promotes you landing on your heel. Mm -hmm. And I have some great video um, that shows a Kenyan runner, the very first time they're running first barefoot and they're run, they land on the ball of their foot, just barely, you know, just a mild forefoot strike. You put them in a pair of shoes. And the first thing they do is they go to their heel and they wow. can stride up more um, because it's comfortable. It's Meaning not the, comfortable. the stride gets longer as you put in that. Stride area. tends to get longer. And you, and you, so really for a given cadence, think about that. You actually get more speed. Yes. The thing is you pay for it with an impact. Yeah. Um, and, and I'm just going to put my hand up here. If you look at the vertical ground reaction force when you run, mm -hmm. there's an impact peak and then there's a propulsion peak here. Okay. So it looks kind of like a, a glove um, uh, or a mitten, right? When you land on the ball of your foot, this goes away and it's a nice smooth transition. It's a nice smooth curve. So this is an impact that you get every single time you land on your heel. And people ask me, I mean, well, if we're not supposed to land on our heel, why do 95%, and that is true, of, of runners who run in cushioned shoes, why do, are they heel strikers? Mm -hmm. And it's because of the shoe. That, um, that and It's one factor. It's Well, it, nothing's ever just one factor. And I have to say that the faster that you run, even if you're in a pair of cushioned shoes, the more tendency you're going to have to get onto the ball of your foot. Okay. Because it helps you to get that energy uh, storage and return from that the gas truck. So you are gonna you're gonna be much more efficient getting on the ball of your foot. So so speed does affect things, um, and then the surfaces that you run in can affect things. But the primary reason that we have transitioned to heel striking is because of footwear. Yes. Wow. If you enjoyed that short clip, you've got to see the full unedited interview with Dr. Irene Davis. She is a phenomenal resource on what it takes to create healthy feet, and that interview is jam-packed with helpful information. To access that video, click the link in the upper right-hand corner of your screen. I'll also put a link for it in the description down below. Beyond that, I just want to thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.